Sometimes nothing screams at you more literally than the ear shattering sound of screeching brakes. But what on earth could it be? Let's take a look then today at exactly what it is, how you can get rid of it, plus how you can improve your braking performance. Cleanliness. Something is much less likely to make a noise in your braking system if it's kept clean. Now, the brakes on a bike are in fact open to contamination because when you're riding along all sorts of road dirt and grime gets thrown up and it's the ideal place to catch it as are oversprays of lubricants and polishes when you apply them so just go nice and carefully when doing that firstly then let's take a look at our brake pads now this applies to both rim brakes and disc brake pads which is always good go close up to them are they covered in a powdery like dark substance or maybe they're glazed over and a little bit shiny if that is the case then get yourself some isopropyl alcohol apply it to a nice clean cloth and simply rub it over them to try and get rid of any of that contamination now if they're still glazed over or slightly shiny what you can also get is some emery paper or some very fine sandpaper and actually just try and take off that glossy appearance so it's a more of a matte appearance or slightly less shiny. Of course, if you are doing this with a pair of disc brake pads, then I would certainly recommend removing them from your caliper. That way you can clean them nice and properly. And well, if you've got the opportunity to actually remove them from the brake shoes of the caliper too. That way you can get them nice and clean again. Now, rim brake users, that's you here, make sure that those braking surfaces are as clean as possible. So get yourself some hot soapy water or even that isopropyl alcohol and apply it onto the braking surface with a firm amount of pressure. It's trying to lift out all that braking dust, all of that grime to try and make them, well, pretty shiny in fact, because that tends to work well with your brake pads. Disc brake users, you can clean up that rotor. So again, using some hot soapy water or some disc brake cleaner. What's really important here is you don't go touching that rotor with your bare skin because the natural oils found within your skin can actually contaminate those rotors, give you that horrible screeching sound as well as bad braking. Now, if your pads are past their best days, that could well be the reason for the noise. It's a cry for help, if you like. So now that you've followed that previous step and your pads are nice and clean, you can inspect them closely. And by that, I mean, you wanna make sure that you've still got enough rubber compound left on them. You wouldn't be the first person out there to have worn all the way through and down to the metal and have that horrible graunching sound of brake shoe versus rim or brake pad backer versus rim. Now, what exactly do we mean by that? Well, you want to make sure if you've got rim brake pads, you've got at least a few millimetres of rubber compound left on there still. And in the case of these ones here, as you can see, there are some grooves in them. Once those grooves disappear, you know it's time to replace them for some fresh pads. Because those grooves, they do a great job of helping your braking performance because they're also directing water away from the rim, giving you better braking and also reducing the chance of any squeals or screams. Right, you've got your disc brake pads. Now, if they've got less than a millimetre's worth of compound left on there, personally, I'd look at replacing them and try and replace them as well with something of the same compound too. If you're unsure of it, get in contact with your local shop and they should be able to point you in the right direction to something on the shelf. However, a little secret I'll let you into here, I've always found organic pads to be a little bit quieter than anything else. However, they don't tend to last for me quite as long. Now, a final few checks here that you can make on your bike. First of all, rim brake users, you want to make sure that your brake pads are either towed in or that they are evenly contacting the braking surface throughout the contact point. So by this, I mean that for towing in, for instance, you want to make sure the first two thirds of the pad, so that's the first two thirds towards the front of the bike, is touching the rim surface before that last third is. It's a very, very small amount though. The other method is to have it flat, totally on the rim, and that is going to give you great braking performance equally. Now, an easy way of doing this is to simply hold in that brake lever and then get yourself your Allen key, loosen the brake retaining bolt and then make sure that it's nicely flat and lined up and then re-tighten it. Now, if you are going to tow them in, easy way of doing this is with a thin bit of cardboard, something like a business card, that kind of thickness and put it in that last third and again, pull on the brake lever gently and just torque up that brake caliper bolt. 
Using carbon rims on your bike? Well, make sure that you've got the correct brake pads fitted, ones for carbon rims. If not, you're likely to get a loud old scream letting you know you've got the wrong ones fitted, as well as giving you poor braking performance and ultimately leading to premature wear of your braking surfaces on those flashy carbon wheels you've got. Now finally, if you're using disc brakes, make sure that rotor is attached nice and firmly onto the hub. A little bit of looseness that can give off that horrible screech or scream, as can a slight kink or warp in that rotor when it passes through the caliper and you lock on those brakes. And that's something just to keep an eye on. So there we are, a few surefire ways on how to get rid of screeching brakes. Let me know though, if you've got any ways of getting rid of a screamer down there in the comment section below. I'm keen to find out your methods. Now, don't forget too, to like and share this video with your friends. Give it a big old thumbs up. Share it with someone who's got a screeching bike. Don't forget too, to check out the GCN shop at shop.globalcyclingnetwork.com. Whole heap and array of goodies for you to check out. And now for another cracking video, how about clicking just down here.